Let's fact check these two videos, as they are just over one minute each, full of lies and bullshit. Firstly, notice how he monetized the videos. Right, this is a personal message about my case and what went on, and I'm not very happy. What? What the fuck? If it's a personal message, why have you made a public video about it? Um, the guy is continuing. You've got it wrong. <coughs> this guy's trying to ruin my life. <coughs> trying to ruin your life. Let's get the facts straight. You harass my employment. You dox my address. Family. Kid. You made multiple threats on me. You got your runoff girlfriend to file false police reports because you're obsessed with me. You have blames me for everything, even though the evidence proves it's not me. Evidence the police have seen all, because you continue to make false baseless accusations. So imagine he's trying to ruin your life, you, you're gonna be okay with that. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! This is a complaint. This is a complaint, and I want the CPS to look it up. I've emailed you, check my email. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Kevin, at Mr. Uh, no, actually, I did it online, so but you will it will come up Kevin Wright and uh, my details and my email is Kevin at Mr. UK TikTok.com. This is a massive, massive complaint to how it's been handled. I don't believe you've been passed the evidence. Okay. So I'm out in this on social media. The Met Police, you did an amazing job, but Hampshire Constabulary uh, Police Station. Are Firstly, it's Hampshire and all of White Constabulary. Secondly, the Metropolitan Police had nothing to do with your issue with me, as I don't live in the Met area. So why are you thanking them? Thirdly, is there only one police station covering all this area? I was even told by a police person. What? What the fuck? Police guy in, in the UK that, um, because you're so low staffed, you let, let things go. So the catchment area and police volumes are good compared to other constabularies. So you let my case go after this guy tried to ruin me for the past two years. Okay. With all the evidence that you had, you just let it go. You didn't send it to CPS and you've let him get away with it and I'm disgusted. Maybe because there was nothing to send to the Crown Prosecution Service as it was all lies. Unlike my case against you where the Crown Prosecution saw the charging evidence, but the police did not send it over for trial. It's why you was in a cell for three days. This is an urgent message uh, to the police, not only the Met Police, but Hampshire Police, please deal with this guy. God. <laughs> I'm abroad and he's literally going in everyone's live and he's trying to message anyone I'm on live with. They're no, I don't go in everyone's lives. Only those I come across that you are spreading lies about me about. You tell these people to block me before I even know who they are. He's been arrested already for harassment. Arrested and dropped due to someone filing false police reports and not telling the truth. That's been proven. He's been arrested already for harassment. He's also um, uh, arrested for harassment. He was cautioned. It was a conditional caution arranged by my solicitor, as the cost of doing a mixed public and private prosecution would not be in the public interest. And taking a conditional caution, which is now spent, does not exist anymore. But that conditional caution is evidence in my case against you, isn't it? Another reason you spent three days in a police cell. Mate's gone awareness course. His phones were taken for stalking. Guys. My phone was taken as part of an investigation because of your false allegations. Then I explained where the evidence was of you making threats on me were, which they retrieved, resulting in you getting arrested and charged with section 4A, stalking and harassment with threats. The case you never mentioned, and you made sure it was kept hidden from the public because you know how damaging it would be to you having another stalking charge on you. And thanks to Tanya, I have evidence proving your lies to the police about me to get me arrested. Me and Tanya may never be friends, but we have a mutual problem. And yes, the police are fully aware of that mutual problem. As you will find out sooner rather than later. Oh, this is a message for the police and Crown Prosecution Service, because you're the one who deals with it properly. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. You obviously aren't aware of how the police and the Crown Prosecution works. 
please stop this guy. I'm very alarmed and distressed at his behavior. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! So alarmed and distressed that you have gone on holiday, continued talking about me, and having the time of your life. That is not the behavior of someone who is alarmed and distressed. He's carrying on. I'm stay when I stayed in a villa, when I stayed in a villa, he literally posted the villa and tried to incite everyone to call the owner of the villa to get me kicked out of the villa. What? What the fuck? Okay. No, you posted the villa as soon as you arrived. You were posting all around the villa. I have never spoken to the owners. But other people that troll and hate you would have done. And we know there are hundreds of them. Just ask the family who made a post after receiving hundreds of messages from different people. Another false accusations based on lies. This guy is very disturbing, guys. I love disturbed, amazing group, good music. Please, 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 please deal with this guy, please. I'm afraid of what this guy will do next. Please deal with him. Please do your job. Please, guys. Please do your job and keep everyone safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.